describes the way you've learned and it's able to get you accommodations for reading, writing, or math. Learn difference is someone that learns in a different way. If someone's listening to something, they may learn better that way and instead someone's watching a movie that has a little bit more movement. Receptive language is making sense of all a written language. Receiving words by listening or by reading. Expressive language is putting thoughts or ideas into words. These students are expressing themselves by talking or writing. Finding the right words within the appropriate amount of time. The student's having trouble completing the sentence. Clearly explaining your ideas. This is disorganized writing because it's one big paragraph. Decoding is when you can read words. Reading comprehension is when you can understand words that are read. All right, student one, can you decode that sentence for us? Cross-culture studies of the prevalence of dyslexia is difficult, as different scholars in different countries often use different criteria to distinguish the cases of dyslexia. Uh, student one, do you, can, did you comprehend that sentence? No. All right, student two, I know you could not decode that sentence, but student two, did you comprehend it? Yes. What does it mean? Uh, different countries measure dyslexia in different ways. Understanding the relationship between numbers. This student that this number is bigger because it has more numbers. Spatial skills is when you have trouble seeing shapes. This is a 3D shape, but some people only see squares. Higher order thinking skills is when you think outside the box. Someone would normally see four triangles, but they're actually five. Dysgraphia is when you have trouble with handwriting. As you can see, this student has dysgraphic handwriting. Poor ocular motor skills is when you skip words or lines when you are reading. Whether the idea could be a successful product, in other words, please yourself. Organization of physical space. When you keep your personal space neat. This is a clean and neat backpack. This student needs to organize his physical space. Motor planning is figuring out how to smoothly move your body from one place to another. This girl is not aware of her surroundings. Sequencing is putting things in the right order. Mercury, Earth, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Saturn. Organizing ideas and materials. Having the stuff you need for the job. This student is disorganized and cannot find her calculator. You get easily distracted, and you can't keep still. We're going to focus on two kinds of pyramids today, the square pyramid and the pentagonal pyramid. Acting or speaking without thinking. So there are triangular prisms, square prisms, and pentagonal... I have a question. 